I'm Mr. Scanlon at McClellan Elementary, and today we're with Mr. Croslin in fifth grade doing some science on the nervous system. Hey, thanks for the introduction, Mr. Scanlon. All right, so we've been studying a lot of body systems. Uh, we started with the circulatory, we went to the respiratory, the skeletal, the muscular, and we talked a little bit about the reproductive, the digestive, excretory, but now let's focus on the nervous system. All of those systems have something in common. They start with cells <laughs> that turn into tissues, tissues, tissues that turn into organs that we call the body system. So the body system we're going to talk about today and do an investigation on is called the nervous system. Nervous, nerve. N E R V O U S, the nervous system, right? And it has one big organ. What's that organ on it? The brain. The brain, the brain right? The brain. <clears throat> if I only had a brain. Well, hopefully I do. In fact, you need a brain. <laughs> what are some of the tissues that make up a brain? Yes. Membranes? There's membranes or parts of the brain, but what about something called the spinal cord? Spinal cord? And finally, some of the cells that make this up are the nerve cells. And you'll be studying these in your book. But just for an idea, we got nerve cells, we have cells coming together as spinal cord, we have the brain, and this is all part of the nervous system. The job of the nervous system is to send messages to your body. Some of them are voluntary, like you say, raise your hand. You heard that, your brain processed it, you thought, okay, he's a teacher, I'll do it this one time, and you raised your hand. Some of your movements are involuntary. Your brain just takes care of it. You go on vacation, your brain says, hey, keep pumping, keep pumping, keep pumping. Can you stop your heart from pumping? Let's hope not. <laughs> uh, keep breathing, keep breathing. So your nervous system has both voluntary and involuntary actions. Some that you can do and some that you don't. So let's take a closer look at some of these organs of this uh, nervous system. So let's take a close look at some parts of a uh, nervous system. And this happens to be a preserved brain. And it's pretty cool. It's got two lobes. It's got the different parts. This is a cow brain. If you see this organ, it looks like it's all these convoluted, all these bumps. This is actually much larger than this. If we spread it out, it would be almost the size of this table. And so this is the bottom of the brain or the brain stem. And like any organ, it needs nutrients. It gets it from blood. And it also has tissue, different types of tissue. It has a covering around it. And we actually have part of this, this is a spinal cord, and this is actually protected by your skeleton in your backbone, your spine. So this is inside of your vertebrate backbone. And that's a good thing because all the information from your brain goes down through your spinal cord and sends messages to your body. And there's other nerves, for example, as the light enters the eye, it goes through the back and comes out through the optic nerve to the brain. So what's cool about this, here, help me hold up the spinal cord for me, would you? Okay, so we got this going on like this. Your eyeball sees something. It sends a message through the spine to your brain. Your brain has to figure it out and tell your eye what you just saw. We call that reaction time. From the time light hits your eye, goes through the back of your optic nerve, comes down your spine to your brain, and tells your hand to move, takes about two tenths of a second. But some people, it might be faster. So light comes in the eye, optic nerve to the brain, brain tells the body to move and sends a message down the spinal cord. So that is how the nervous system operates. Would you guys like to put your nervous system to a test? Yes. Sure, sure. Okay, we're going to do an investigation to see how we can find your reaction time. Let's get started. 
Okay, let's let you guys take a closer look at these parts of the nervous system here. Get in here. You here? Who wants this? I do. And here's this. Here, hold it. Someone else hold it. There's the eye. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, not eye, yeah, yeah. It's the eye, eye, eye. There's the spinal cord. Hey, guys, can I hold it? Over here. Cool? Oh, Let me I see. want to touch you, man. Yo, here, you want to check it out. Now, in your book, so if someone goes to get their book, go get your book and we can find out what different parts of the brain. Because they're... Okay. Get the eyes, get the eyes. Open it up. Uh, let's see. Bring it in here. Let's see. Bring it in here. Here's the brain. Okay, let's see. Can you help Where's me find the these parts cord? of the brain? Check it out. Here's Sarah, uh, the brain stem. You can see the different parts right here. Neat. Here, I, I've seen this. You guys check it out. All right, so we're going to try an experiment here to find out your reaction time, okay? You all right with that? You look a little worried. You trust me, right? Don't answer that. <laughs> okay, so here's the, we're all going to do this. We're going to have partners. So right now for our demonstration, you're my partner, okay? So this is our meter stick. And right in the middle, I like to put the 1 at the bottom and the 50 right here. So go ahead and put your thumb and your finger and keep it loosely on this side of it. Don't grab it yet, but okay, open your hand. Open. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this at some time. I'll tell you, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to drop it, okay? You start at 50 centimeters. Here's what's going to happen. When I drop it, your eyes are watching. As soon as your eyes see it start to move, it's going to send a message just like that cow eyeball to your brain. Your brain's going to say, catch! It's going to send a message down your brain stem, down your spinal cord, down your arm, down your wrist. It's going to say, thumb, grab it. Okay? And we're going to measure that by how far it falls. Are you ready? We'll see what your reaction time is. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'll drop it any second now. <laughs> wow, are you alive? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay, that was called a do-over. If it hits the ground, we're gonna do it over. Try it again. It takes a little practice. Are you ready? Who knows when? Your optic nerve is watching, your brain's ready. Oh, 98. So we started at 50, look on your worksheet, she would write on hers, don't you do it, she would write 98. What's 98 take away 50? 48. 48. Your reaction time is 40. I think we can do this better. Let's try it again. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Oh, 82. So she would write 82, subtract 50, what's your reaction time? 32. 32. I want you to do this 10 times with your partner. 10 times, okay? And then switch and the other person. Let's do it one more practice. Are you ready? Now you can't move your hand up and down. Your optic nerve, your nervous system, we're trying to get what's called your baseline. On a normal day, this is how you do it, all right? Are you ready? Are you ready? There we go. Go. Nice. 70. 50 minus 70. What's your reaction time? So you notice she was like 48, ding, 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 ding. So practice once or twice and then do it 10 times with your partner. Make sure you have your page so you can record after you do a few practices. <laughs> Okay, so you just finished doing 10 different trials, and that's called your baseline on a normal day. You know, when we hold your finger again at the 50 and I drop it and you catch it. And that's your baseline. And you need to add those up and then divide by 10 to get your average, okay? Now we're going to see if I can impair your nervous system, like make it mess up a little bit, all right? <laughs> so uh, there are things you can do by accident to your body that impairs your nervous system, and sometimes people do things on purpose. That's why uh, some people, when they get older, take drugs or alcohol, and that really impairs your nervous system. You can't have the same reaction time. So we're going to see some different impairments. So. Are you right-handed or left-handed? Right-handed. This time, let's use your left hand. So that's one, you can pick your left hand. One, I might, who knows when, I don't know. Um, 
Okay, we can measure. So we could do it left-handed. That's an impairment. If you're normally right-handed, left-handed. Here's another impairment. Let's do left hand, stand on one leg. Okay, stand on one leg. Are you watching? Are you ready? Oh, this guy's pretty good. All right, let's do left-handed, stand on one leg, cover one eye. Okay. Okay, <laughs> cover your eye. Look to the camera. Here we go, ready? I'll turn this, are you ready? One leg, one leg, and okay. Let's try this one. Spin around three, have your hands like this. Spin around three times, spin around three times. Quicker, 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 here you go. <laughs> try it again, spin. One, two, Ready? Spin again. <laughs> so I don't think you need to do, you guys can either pick one or two of these, but whatever impairment you pick, keep it for all 10 of them, okay? So if you're going to do one leg, one eye, or spin, okay? Are you ready to pick your impairment? Take 10 more trials with your impairment and your partner. Go ahead and get started. <laughs> So we finished up doing the reaction time as you were impaired. What was your impairment? What was your impairment? Uh, one leg and one eye closed. One leg and one eye closed? Just show the camera what it looks like. Yeah, okay. And now, did you did your reaction time get better, stay the same, or get worse? Better. It got better? I, I, I didn't really do <coughs> okay. Well, let's see yeah, how it is. All right. Ready? Show me your impairment. And are you watching? All right. Don't touch it. Though. Ready? Okay. <laughs> it wasn't ready. All right. Are you ready? Don't let it touch. You can't be touching. Ah. Is that your average or about the same? It got worse. It got worse. Okay. So impairment... Well, we'd have to do this a lot more time, times to see if it really did make a difference in your reaction time. I'm going to try one more thing here. Mr. Scanlon, I'll need you for this one. Okay, okay Mr. Scanlon, uh, I'll give you a chance here. Mr. Scanlon, it's lunchtime, and I'm, uh, you guys, uh, I might need to pay attention here. So I got a $5 bill. Mr. Scanlon, all you got to do... I, I, you seem like a pretty ninja type guy. Pretty much. Pretty ninja guy? Okay. That's my skills. That's skills. All you have to do, Mr. Scanlon, is catch this, but you can't move your hand up and down, right? So if you catch this $5 bill, I guess it's going to be yours, but if you miss it, you owe me $5. Seems reasonable. Is that fair? Seems reasonable. So anytime, uh, I'll uh, move that back, please, okay? Because uh, he needs to concentrate, because, you know, $5, you know, so anytime it's going to drop and. Uh, Oh, no, <laughs> uh, you owe me five dollars, but I, I don't want to cheat you out of this. Let's do double or nothing, okay? Fair, fair. Ten because, bucks. Here you go. I'll you win the five bucks back. Okay. Oh, now you move to the bottom. I see. Uh, you're thinking moving to the bottom gives you more reaction yeah, time. More so time if you time. catch this, you owe me nothing. But of course, if you don't, it's ten dollars. He's getting a little bit stocky. Get your eye out. Well, I'll give you a chance, double or nothing. Uh, 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 now, you owe me ten dollars, Mr. Scanlon, and uh, I don't condone gambling. This is science. I know you're never going to catch it. It takes two tenths of a second for you to see to send, unless you are really. Oh, you're really trying to grab that. So it's ten bucks now or nothing, and it's now twenty dollars. <laughs> Mr. Scanlon, uh, I'm going to. No, it's double each time. I got a hundred dollars here. Oh, oh my God! This is fake. This is fake. Is so fake. No, this is a real deal. It's your last one. All right, last shot. Hundred dollars, double or nothing. Oh, you're getting even. You keep getting farther down. Trying to see. Okay, and I could count the three. Do that would all help. of them. Do I mean, all your fingers. One, He's two, trying to intimidate you. Three, Do all your fingers. And have a good reaction okay. <laughs> I guess, boys and girls, the lesson on your nervous system, there's two lessons. Number one, never gamble. <laughs> Number two, when someone shows you something, they probably know a little bit about the science. Hey, your nervous system, you can't live without it. 
You can improve your reaction time by practice, but uh, it's going to take more than $100 uh, fund money. Hey, good luck on the rest of your investigation. I'll see you next time.